Yes, guys, welcome back to Venomous Gaming Entertainment, baby. Bringing you my shenanigans on Star Wars Jedi Survivor. As you can see here, the graphics, they are absolutely awesome. Gameplay wise, I can't form it at all. There were a few bugs here and there, but overall, it is a solid second part. It is a solid game. It really, really is a solid game. Nice. And what I'm going to do in this video is show you just a couple shenanigans that I came across while playing the game. Okay. Arrogance is a trap a lot of us fall into, Senator. I'm sure the Emperor won't mind if I deliver you to him in pieces. The Senator should have already sliced and diced Cal with a lightsaber. And now this has given BD time to switch up the lightsaber, so therefore Cal can succeed in his plan. Thanks, BD. You bad for this. That's mine. Find something, buddy? What's your gun? Ascension cable. Worker sees it for construction now. Can you repair it? How convenient that Cal comes prepared with the necessary tools to fix anything. Not in bad shape. Should be a quick patch job. Hmm. <sighs> If you look carefully in the background of this scene, Bode is supposedly looking at the senator, but he's actually not. Look carefully, he's looking behind the senator. What took you so long? Why you've been chasing shadows? I have been stopped! At what goddamn point was a senator harboring Cal? He wasn't. Cal's friend got shot in the center of her back, but when you look closely, when it switches over, you get to see that the wound is just below her shoulder. Notice the difference in size of the Inquisitor inside the ship. The Inquisitor was really small, looked like the size of an ordinary person. Coming out of the ship and absolutely gigantic like the Hulk. No traffic. Looks like this portal's under maintenance. Bode talks about peeling off the enemies. How on earth can he do that when he's in a tunnel? Davis talks like he's given a speech to tens if not hundreds of people, but there's only him, his comrades, and the poor frog sitting on the floor. Kill him. Still we weren't beaten. Not yet. Not until the Jedi Council gave the order to abandon Tanalor and then refused to counterattack. They gave up on it. Yes. It was my discovery. My home and they just expected me to throw it away. Dagon Gera still pissed off at a 200 year old ruling which no longer is in effect. If Dagon Gare has been locked away for 200 years, how on earth did Ravis and him come up with a plan to meet up 200 years in the future? Cal Kestis, it is an honor. Yeah, hi. You see her there? We eagerly await your arrival. However, a dust storm is sweeping over our location. Just wait till the dust storm finishes. How will I get to you? 
Master Junda has arranged for an Who on earth is Master Junda? She's sending someone else. Oh looky, the return of the dead cliche. I hear you've been busy making your what on earth is Will Smith's wife doing in the game? I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the outcomes cannot form a All of this work to save this guy and he ends up dying like a bitch. Now after the Inquisitor, here Cal sneaking through the pipes when Cal was as quiet as a mouse. Cal remembers he can use an ability by the flashback cliche. You see in this shot that Ravis is altering his weapon, however, in the next shot when you see the weapon, nothing has changed. As you can see, Cal gets thrown up to the ceiling, Dag and Gera follows him up to the ceiling and they fight on top of the ceiling as if they're standing on the ground. After the fight, um, Bode is on the floor, lying down, but he's also on the ceiling. See? There he is, in the background, on the ceiling. How's he on the ceiling? What the fuck? Bode throws a grenade next to Cal and Cal survives. Bullshit! Oh, 